Sometimes when you're doing maintenance or diagnostic work on these four-stroke industrial engines, you need to determine the position of the piston and what stroke the piston is in. Um, for example, if you're doing a leak down test or you're adjusting the valves on the engine, uh, the piston needs to be at top dead center on the compression stroke um, to do the test or do the work correctly. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the uh, position of the piston uh, using this uh, single cylinder overhead valve uh, four stroke um, Harbor Freight Predator engine. First thing is uh, uh, take your spark plug wire off the spark plug and remove the spark plug so you can easily rotate the engine. Uh, next you need to determine which direction your engine rotates when it's running and you can determine that by looking at your uh, starter uh, recoil pull rope assembly. Uh, the engine will rotate in the same direction that your starter pull rope uh, turns the engine when you're trying to start the engine. So by looking at this, I know that the engine turns clockwise uh, when the engine is running. So uh, now I'm going to remove this uh, recoil starter assembly uh, so I can rotate this engine more easily by hand. Next, remove the uh, uh, valve cover so you can uh, see the valves operate when you turn the engine over by hand. On these uh, industrial four-stroke engines, you usually have two valves per cylinder and uh, you need to determine which valve is the intake and which is the exhaust. And you can do that by looking at the uh, intake is going to have your carburetor attached to the intake manifold and that will be closest to your intake valve which that makes this the intake valve and then the other one can only be the exhaust valve. Um, and that also makes sense because the muffler is attached to this side of the engine which is on the same side as the exhaust valve. In a four-stroke engine, there are four strokes involved in engine operation, and stroke uh, just means uh, the distance the piston moves from its upper uh, top position to its lowest bottom position, uh, or vice versa. Uh, the four strokes of a four-stroke engine are intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Uh, during the intake stroke, the, in the piston moves from its top position to its bottom position, and uh, it pulls in air and fuel into the cylinder and in order to do that the intake valve must be open. Um, during the compression stroke the piston moves from its bottom position to its top position and compresses that air and fuel and in order to do that both valves must be closed. Uh, during the power stroke uh, the air and fuel is ignited and the heat pushes the piston down uh, from its top position to its bottom position and in order to do that both valves must be closed. And uh, during the exhaust stroke, uh, the piston moves from its bottom position to its top position, pushing that burnt fuel out of the engine. And in order to do that, the exhaust valve must be open. And then the cycle just repeats again. Uh, but by knowing, but by watching these valves, uh, you can determine which stroke uh, the engine is in at any particular time. Since I know which direction the engine rotates when it's running, um, I can turn the engine by hand and watch these valves and watch the engine cycle through its uh, four strokes, which would be intake, compression, power, and exhaust. So I'll go ahead and I'll turn the engine over. And I can see my intake valve is opening up, so it must be, uh, the piston must be uh, in its intake stroke, which means it's moving from its top position to its bottom position. And the next stroke after that is the compression stroke. Uh, the engine will be moving from its bottom to its top position and both valves should close. And then the, uh, the next stroke is the uh, power stroke. Both valves will be closed and the piston will move from its top to its bottom position. And the next stroke after that is the exhaust stroke which the piston moves from its bottom position to its top position and this exhaust valve should open up. And then that uh, those four strokes just repeat repeat again, and the intake valve should should start to open. Let's say, for example, um, I'm going to do a, a valve adjustment on this engine, and the manual says that the engine must be uh, on its compression stroke at top dead center uh, before I adjust the valves. 
Uh, top dead center just means that the uh, piston is at its uppermost top position and then it must be on its compression stroke. Uh, by watching these valves while I turn the engine over I can determine which stroke the engine is in. Um, so for example I'll turn this engine over and look for the intake stroke which I know comes right before the compression stroke so I'll look for this intake valve to open which, should, which it's doing so it's on its intake stroke and as soon as this valve starts to close I'll know that it's transitioning from the intake stroke to the compression stroke and then all I need to do is determine when the piston is at uh, top dead center. On this engine it's fairly easy to determine uh, when the piston is at top dead center because you can actually see the piston when you look through the spark plug hole and I'll show you that right now. Now I know the uh, piston is on the compression stroke so I'll go ahead and turn the engine and you should see the piston. I don't know if you can see that in the camera but there's the piston. Um, moving up on the compression stroke. The next stroke is a power stroke so the piston will transition and start to move down. But I want to position the piston so it's uh, right at the uh, top of its stroke which would be right right there. If you're not able to see the piston through the spark plug hole um, another way to determine when the uh, piston is a top dead center is to uh, insert, gently insert a screwdriver. Uh, don't let it bind. Um, It'll be touching the top of the piston and when you turn the engine over the piston will push the screwdriver out and when it reaches that farthest point that's when the piston is at top dead center. And you see if I go too far it will start to go back in which I don't want so I'll just position it so that it's at its farthest point. So that will be top dead center on the uh, compression stroke. There are other methods you can use for determining when the piston is on its compression stroke, but I thought this was a good method for uh, illustrating on video. And it's also a very good method when you have to um, adjust the uh, valves. So I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.